You gotta look up. He's dominating. Mm. That, that, that's the thing, though. One ball was hit hard in six and a third inning. One ball they, over 100. They, they, one ball. Chiquito, they wasn't seeing the ball coming at all. Which year? Seven strikeouts. We were watching right here. I mean, I was like, they, they had no clue what the ball is. You know, uh, I know he's not a hitter, but he's a pitcher, and he have clue about where the ball is coming from, what type of pitch. I'm talking about uh, Rodriguez, Eduardo. Yeah. Eduardo told me, bro, look, one day I got to sit down and talk to Richie about him teaching me how to throw the damn breaking ball that he threw. He said, he threw me a pitch that I took up running because it was way behind me, and all of a sudden, because he got hit by the fastball before, right? Right, right, right. So he was like, I thought I was going to get hit again. That shit was like, <laughs> take the left turn. And I like, yeah, it seems like nobody was hitting the ball. You think that's Robert's main decision or you think that's upstairs? Bro, it's confusing. And the problem is that he's taking all the heat. Yeah. He's taking all the heat. Frank, would you have taken Rochelle out last night? Absolutely not. He said it in real time. When the That bullpen was compromised last <laughs> night. I if, if, if they were in full rest mode, maybe. But they didn't have many options last night. There's no way to take Rich Hill out of that game last night. They needed three more outs from Rich Hill. That's all we were asking for, is three more outs. I would have rolled him until he passed down on the mound. You almost have to go into that game thinking that if you don't win that game, the season's over. Mm -hmm. You have to go into that game saying, my only other trooper that I can use, because I cannot use Canley again for two innings. Six, six, six outs. Right? I can only use him for one. Has it ever worked with Canley for six outs? Never. It's never worked. Real has to be available, who pitch really well. He has to be available for two innings. There's nobody else in that pan. Like, for right. you to put Alexander in that situation, uh, who is hard for him to throw strikes. And you get the, the fact that they play 18 innings the night before, that is a big reason for you to go down with your starter. Because you know your bullpen is hurting. That was the idea with Eduardo Rodriguez last night until he gave up the bomb of a uh, buoy. He was going to be out there as long as he could because the bullpen was hurting. You saw that Kimbo was, he wasn't Kimbo like he normally is. You know, he was hurting from the night before. Yeah, he threw 28 pitches the night before. You know what I'm saying? In 28 late nights. And was on the same boat. Is he available tonight? He got to be. For just one, though, right? You know who's available tonight? Your Yeah, for 100%. 100%. <laughs> oh, 100%. Cuckoo! Cuckoo. Yeah, I know Cuckoo what I think bird. about these two guys. Yeah. It was a 4 nothing ball game with no traffic on the bases. That's a great point. There is no way I'm taking him out of that game. If you got a lot of traffic out there, yeah, sure. Can't there be, was no traffic on the bases. Where was real? Three more outs. Now that you're talking about closer, yeah. have you ever thought about what is wrong with Jensen besides... Because... Okay, we're talking about him being used, but we haven't talked about his location. I think it's velocity's not the same either. He you know, 95, cutter, 96, Frank. 96. When he said 96 above, I mean, he's devastating. When he gets down to 93, he's hit him. And I don't see the the, the, the cutter been as good as it's been in the past for him right now. My favorite hacker. Yeah. How many innings he pitched in the regular season? Can we? Yeah. Because I think, I think, same thing that he was going through last year against Houston, he's going through now. I mean, 71 and two thirds, his most in a season since 2013. Remember, he's going to take time with the DL as well with that hard issue. How about, how about last year? And how about the, uh, last year? Last year, 68 and a third. <laughs> he gave up 13 homers this year in the regular season, which was by far his career high. So for closer, is that like average? Is it above average or is it below average? 78 is quite a bit. The, uh, Josh Hader led the NL in relief and he pitched. He had 81. So 71 and two thirds a lot for a hitter, especially for a closer. Okay. Well, man, he, I mean. But, Poppy, it's not fair. So, Alex Cora has, you know, say 10 pitches available, and Dave only has six. So, he's using Sale, Price, Evaldi, and. Dave Roberts is limited to his same guys, so he's keep going to the same guys. That's not fair. Yeah. Like if you have a deeper bench, well, Alex Cora is using his entire 25-man roster, mm -hmm. and Dave Roberts is using a 17-man roster. Like where is Rio? Is what That's I want to know. That's a big point. That's a good point right there. So, so basically, can we say that Alex Cora has been able to manage 
his ball flow a little better than Dave Roberts? Or something? Well, he's used his roster much better for sure. To me, having Rio not available, and don't tell me game six, because that's not a good answer. They're, they're, there's probably not going to be a game six, yeah. right? So you can't worry about game six, but you can't worry, you got to win game four. And if you just play 18 innings, you have to put all hands on deck. And the one thing that Alex Cora has done throughout this whole series, he's been ultra aggressive and he's got the wins today. I, I, didn't, I don't know if Rio was even in, 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 in cleats yesterday. Hitting on that Alex, he has used Evaldi as a weapon. Oh, yeah. You know, to be able to bounce back and throw like that. Dodgers really don't have a guy like that unless they can use Walker Bueller. If they can bring Walker Bueller in there tonight to give him three innings. I mean, the Dodgers might have a guy like that. They well, just haven't that, used him That's the only yeah. starter that has that type of But where was Rio? Because I'm telling you, if you have Rio in the game, here's the thing that he can do. He can run in balls to, to, to lefties. He has the change up away from righties. If you have Rio, Moreland's never in that game. Right. Right? And if he's in the game, he's probably not gonna hit a three-run bomb like that. Right. Right. So you gotta have Rio. If you have a four-run lead, they were 54 and zero after winning after four-run lead. Right? 54 and zero with a four-run lead. You gotta have Rio. That's your guy. Like nobody else is available. Rio has it, one career relief appearance since last year in May. It would have been two after this one. Yeah. Okay, let me ask you this. How many did Price and how many did Chris sell? Well, Price started as reliever. So did so Chris sell. So, Price did, did he really last year in the playoffs. Yeah. yeah. But it's a luxury. It is a luxury to have those guys. Price and Baldi is coming out of the bullpen like, like relievers. Consistently. I, my point is, I wouldn't care about that because this is such an anomaly of being in the World Series and having 18 games the day before. I'm just giving the info. I'm yeah, not, I'm not, yeah, no, I would take that info and I would say, yeah. okay, I get it. This will be the second time. I'm not editorializing here. I'm just saying what the facts are. If Walker Bueller did you know what I mean? If he could do it, that's the only weapon they have off the bench as a starter. 